Hi, I'm Stephanie Murphy, and I'm 30 years old. I moved to New Hampshire in 2006, so I've been here for over eight years. I heard about the Free State Project in 2002, when New Hampshire was actually picked as the place to go. I chose New Hampshire because I felt so lonely in Massachusetts where I lived before. I didn't have too many friends. It was just hard to find people who shared my ideas about basically wanting to live freely and be left alone. So you'd think that's simple to find, but it really wasn't. Even though I was a super early mover back in 2006, immediately there was a community of people who were here for the same reasons as me, because they wanted to live a freer life. And they became friends and business partners and allies, and it went from there. I started out really more interested in the political side. So I started you know, going to the state house, uh, an issue that I was interested in was medical marijuana because at the time I was in medical school and I thought patients should have access to the medicine that they think is best, even if it's an herbal medicine that some people in the government don't like. So I got involved with that, quickly became incredibly frustrated by the political system and, and trying to work within that mess, decided it was rotten to the core and I didn't want any part in it. So I thought, well, what can I do? Uh, I could produce media. So I started my first podcast back in 2009 with another friend who was also here uh, because of the Free State Project. And it, it just went from there. I became a talk radio host. I actually made a total career change where I transitioned from um, my previous job, which was as a scientist, to uh, being a full-time voice actor and talk radio host. Back in 2010, a couple of friends and I started an organization called Free Aid, it's spelled FR33AID. Free Aid is a volunteer first aid organization, so our volunteers go to events like the Porcupine Freedom Festival every summer and provide volunteer first aid to the attendees. So things like band-aids, sunscreen, bug spray. If anything serious comes up, you know, we know when to refer people to more serious medical attention. We also do outreach and education about health and safety. We teach people how to use a cardiac defibrillator, um, which is something that anyone can do if someone nearby has a cardiac arrest, uh, CPR, just kind of good Samaritan type stuff. And we also provide a place for liberty-loving healthcare professionals to network with each other. That's been really fun because it basically shows how um, People can care about one another and provide types of services like healthcare and first aid on a voluntary basis. As part of my work in the media, I was on the show Free Talk Live, which is a nationally syndicated radio show. On the show, I was a weekly host for about four years, and it's a talk show about liberty where anyone can call in about anything they want, but we talk about current events from a liberty-loving perspective. That was great because I don't know where else I would have had an opportunity to do something like that, be a part of a nationally syndicated radio show without having to audition for it or have any a special degree in broadcasting or anything like that. I just basically got an opportunity from the two people who host the show, Ian and Mark, and it turned into a, a gig that went for a really long time and helped me transition out of my day job into my, my current work, which is as a voice actor. I had a podcast for many years called Pork Therapy. It's, it, it was a relationship show. Uh, it's like relationship advice, but from a liberty-loving perspective. So we touched on a lot of issues of um, volunteerism and relationships, basically. Um, do, you, do you have to hang out with status friends? Do you, how do you meet a liberty-loving romantic partner? You know, do you own your partner? Do you have the right to control their behavior? If you have a conflict with your neighbor, should you call the cops or should you try to work it out on your own? Those were some of the things that we talked about. If someone is interested in potentially moving to New Hampshire, my biggest piece of advice to them would be visit. There are tons of opportunities to come visit New Hampshire. There's the Liberty Forum and the Porcupine Freedom Festival, Pork Fest, that are both put on by the Free State Project. And the point of those is so that people can get a sense of what it's like here and meet the people that might end up being their neighbors or their friends or their business partners. Normally when people do visit New Hampshire, they love it. They don't want to leave. They're just excited to come back because it's so different. It's so different having sort of a community of people who at least share 90, 95% of your values, whereas wherever you're living uh, right now, if you're not in New Hampshire, you likely don't have that and perhaps maybe even feel a little lonely. If anyone wants to find out more about my voiceover work or they want to work with me in the future, I'm passionate about projects that further a cause, especially the cause of liberty, my website is smvoice.info.